Hello, my name is Nicolette Smith and I will be doing my school board president campaign speech on Johann Friedrich Herbert. Maria Montessori once said, to stimulate life, leaving it free, however, to unfold itself, that is the first duty of the educator. I have chosen to share this beautiful quote with you all today because I believe it encompasses the ideas of my own educational philosophy in which I will share with you today. My name is Johann Friedrich Herbart and I am speaking to you today as a candidate for the school board president because I am dedicated to making school better together. In today's schools, the focus of education has transitioned to teaching to the tests. The curriculum is no longer focused on the learning needs of the children, but rather on preparing students for the standardized tests. With standardized tests, teachers are forced to limit curriculum to a set range of knowledge that will increase student performance on the mandated test. This has produced an unhealthy focus on excessive repetition and has limited the holistic understanding of subject matter. This must change. I believe every child is born with a unique potential, his individuality, but this potential cannot be fulfilled unless it is transformed by education in accordance with the values of civilization. Schools must emphasize the connection between individual development and the resulting societal contribution. I believe the abilities of the students are not innate, but can be instilled through a focus of education on moral and intellectual development. So how can this be accomplished? How can we focus our efforts on establishing a moral education for our students? Firstly, we must adopt the notion of apperception. That is, the ideas already configured in the mind are stimulated into activity by new information and either integrate that new information through meaningful connections or let it pass if such connections are not made. Secondly, I propose this educational paradigm that would provide an intellectual base that would lead to a consciousness of social responsibility. Step one of my instruction methodology is preparation. With preparation, teachers will introduce new material in relation to the student's pre-existing knowledge or interests, so as to instill an interest in the new material. Step two is presentation. This is when the teacher will Present the new material in a concrete or material fashion manner. Step three of the process is association. This is when the new material is compared with the student's previous knowledge for similarities and differences, so as to note the new material's distinction. For example, you might use your student's previous knowledge with money through past experiences where they were perhaps given an allowance or received money through a gift and they saved said money to purchase a gift more than the sum of the allowance or the gift itself. This knowledge can be used in a lesson to teach students about budgeting as an adult. The fourth step in the process is generalization. The goal of generalization is for the new material to be extrapolated beyond concrete and material traits. The fifth and final step of the instructional methodology is application. With application, if the students have internalized the new material, they will then apply it towards every facet of their outside lives, rather than in a utilitarian manner. Before coming to America, the philosophy and methodology I have presented before you flourished in the German cities of Leipzig and Jena, and I believe it will flourish here as they relate to America's needs and America's democracy. We must switch our efforts from test ready to moral and intellectual development and we can achieve this through the methodology I have described before you. No longer must we use Bibles in the classrooms. 
Instead, use literature and historical stories so the students will appreciate psychological and literary nuances. Peer tutoring is not only ineffective, but it is cumbersome upon the taxpayer due to its inefficient use of the teacher. No longer will our children's curriculum be focused on the industrial needs of this nation, but rather it will be focused upon the psychological and educational needs of our young students today. Together, we can integrate a curriculum built on constructivism where the children will come to understand the total unity of the world and the role they each play within it. Thank you for considering my candidacy for the school board seat. And remember, Johan is number one. Thank you.